Okay, final week of the season. Brentford FC's final game. They are safe, but they will be hosting Leeds United, who have something to play for, potentially need to win to stay in the league. So this is going to be a big game. Here to preview Brentford's final game of the season is Dougie. Before we get to Dougie, please make sure you subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment for this video. Anyway, here's Dougie with his preview for Brentford vs Leeds, final week of the season. Here is Dougie. See you later. So here we are, match day 38, Brentford versus Leeds United. And certainly this uh, last August, if you'd asked me where I thought Brentford would um, finish the season, I think I would have probably have said we would be in Leeds' position, hoping that we could uh, survive. However, it's of course it's a different story. And I, I, I have to pay tribute to uh, one man, and that is Christian Eriksen. He's just made the, the difference. He's given everybody the confidence, not only the players, but the supporters as well. And he's played nine games now for, for us, and seven of those have been victories. One draw against Tottenham. Uh, that record speaks for itself, and that's what's uh, helped us survive. I think we, we, we were good enough to stay up, but... It would have been a struggle these last couple of months. It's just, well, it's been phenomenal. Um, go, looking at the game, uh, who would have thought Brentford would have a, a say in their last two fixtures of the season and who would be going down? Uh, Sunday's result at uh, Everton, I know things did fall into our laps, kind of, with, um, you know, two, two red cards for Everton. But you, you can only do... And play against um, the opposition. Can't can't take uh, you know decisions that go against the opposition to heart. Brentford um, took advantage, and for the integrity of the competition, we just didn't uh, lie down and 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 succumb. Which, given the raucous atmosphere, both uh, during the night with firework display outside the team hotel again, uh, Brentford's hotel waking the players up to, you know, the scenes outside the stadium and then inside the stadium, especially the first five minutes when Everton obviously went 1-0 up. Um, we didn't uh, bow down to all that. We kept our heads um, and eventually ran out of deserved winners, 3-2. Like I said, I think circumstances did go against Everton. Um, not entirely their fault, but... Uh, secondly, the second red card was just a, an absolute disgrace by Rondon. Why on earth he was going in two-footed on the touchline when you know the Brentford player had nowhere to go? It's ridiculous. Uh, Leeds, on the other hand, well, by the time they turn up at Brentford on Sunday, they will know exactly what they've got to do. Um, with both Everton and Burnley playing on Thursday night, uh, the fate uh, could their fate could already have been decided. Um, I'm sure they'll turn up and that they'll try their hardest to win. Uh, but, that, you know, they've conceded 78 goals this season. Um, there's only Norwich that have conceded more. And look where Norwich are. So, and, and Leeds are, are considered the second most. And look where Leeds are. They're there for a reason and they can't. It's because of the goals they, they can see. Um, I'd, I'd love to say that Brentford, are, um, confident that Brentford are going to win this uh, comfortably. I, I think we will win, but it will be it will be tight. And last day is always traumatic, especially when one or maybe even sometimes both teams have got something to play for. Um, whatever, it it doesn't matter. Brentford are playing Premier League next season, but you know you do want to go out on a high. I. I Team selection, I can't see any reason why Thomas Frank will change anything. Um, he'll probably start with maybe the same team as at Everton or maybe even make one, possibly two changes. Maybe he might start Josh De Silva uh, or uh, Vitaly Janel. But um, got to look for a, a stronger defensive display from uh, particularly uh, Sorensen at the back. He um, obviously he was uh, taken off at half time more to protect himself because he, he was having an absolute nightmare. Uh, tactics changed that, that 
with that uh, substitution, and we looked at more potent um, attacking force. Uh, I don't think he'll. If um, if Zanka is fit, then he may play in place of Sorensen. But if it, if he isn't, then Sorensen will start. And um, he's a good lad. He just had a, a, a bad day. You know, players are human; they, they can. Uh, it'd be nice if uh, Brian and Bramo finished off with a. a good it'd be nice if Brian and Bramo finished off with a, you know, a scoring flourish. I think he's due a goal. Um, he's, he's had plenty of shots just recently, but they've all gone a bit wayward. Um, but however, come six o'clock on uh, Sunday evening, I think it's time for a celebration, regardless of the result. But I'd like to think it'll be on the back of a, a 2-0 Brentford victory.